Why do 99% of Christians struggle with sexual desires? Hello to you. Today we'll be talking about something very important, which is slowly destroying the body of Christ. But before we get into that, please do me a favor and hit the like button below. And if this is your first time here, please kindly subscribe and press the bell to get updates on our upcoming videos. Have you done that? Okay, let's get to business. Why do 99% of Christians struggle with sexual urges? You know, I'm someone that I like to go straight to the point. And the reason is simple. The church has shied away from talking about how to handle sexual urges. In fact, the church has shied away from talking about sex in general. There is limited sex education being done in the church. But the question is why? Why is that so? For some reason, obviously, sex is something that is quite delicate. It is a delicate subject to talk about. But if the church doesn't talk about it, what happens? The, the result is that Christians tend to be, Christians somehow believe that having sexual urges is a problem in itself is a problem. If the church doesn't talk about it, if you know we don't hear that from the church or even our parents. The next thing is that if we have such struggles, we, we won't feel free to open up about it because maybe, um, because maybe because we we would be ridiculed, maybe because we will be a laughing stock or something. But if the church doesn't talk about it, or if even if our parents or if our parents don't talk about it, then there is going to be a problem. Christians who Christians who struggle with this are going to shy away from it. So the first thing, the first thing we need to come to realize is that sex is good. Why? Why is it good? Because sex was created by God, and everything that God created is good. Now let's let's look at scripture for a minute. Genesis. Let's go to if if we, if we read Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-seven. It says, "So God created mankind in His own image. In the image of God, He created them." male and female he created them god blessed them and said to them be fruitful and increase in number fill the earth and subdue it rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground if we fast forward to verse 31 it says god saw all that he had made and it was very good and there was evening and there was morning the seed day so we see clearly from here that Everything that God created, including sex, is good. But then it is good in a specific context, which is the context of marriage. Back to our question on, on uh, talking about sex in the church. Okay, so I believe that the, the, the first step to resolving the issue, to, to handling, to be able to handle sexual urges, is the ability to be able to freely talk about it. The ability to be able to freely talk about it. And that starts by our church leaders. The church leaders need to show the example by talking about it, by educating the brethren on how to handle sexual urges as a Christian. It is very, very important. Why is this? Why is this important? As a leader, as you talk about this, the first thing is that as brethren see you talking about it, they realize that this is something, this is something that we can talk about as well. You are at, at that point you are leading by you are leading by example. You are showing them what to do. You are showing them what to do, and that way it will encourage more Christians to be able to open up about their own challenges. Generally, we don't talk about things that are bad. When something is not talked about, then it is assumed to be not good. But since we've seen that sex is good in the context of marriage, we need then to educate brethren on how not to engage in sex in the wrong context that is out of marriage so we need to we need to let brethren know that it is not it is natural it is natural to have those desires it is normal it is part of our makeup the question the question now is how do you handle them and that is why i believe that our leaders our church church leaders need to really invest time in educating brethren on how to handle such urges so like I said, the first advantage of talking about it, of discussing it, is that you are showing the example. 
you are making brethren realize that it is something that is good and it is worth talking about and that the fact that you are able to talk about it it encourages they, they also to talk about it to open up and share their issues but secondly what happens if you don't talk about it what happens if the church doesn't talk about it what happens if parents don't talk about it the next thing is that the Christian people will turn to the world people will turn to the world to find out what the world says about it which is not good that is what that is another thing that we are trying to avoid so the, the second and important benefit of talking about it is that Christians will be, will be more open to bring up their issues in the context of the church where they can get the help that they really need where they can get help from people that they trust people that will give them good advice I mean the last thing that you want is as a, as a parent for example is you know your child being educated on about sex from so from from a friend you know I mean you really you really don't want to get into that so it's it's best as a parent for example to educate your own child on this to educate your own child about sex it's something that should be handled you know as as in, in, the, in the context of the family and also in the church family our leaders need to be able to talk about this before we get to the point of counseling or to the point of you know handling it when um, you've already made the mistake when you've already fallen into it it is important to start talking about it to be educated about it to be given strategies on how to handle these urges as a Christian yeah so that's that so so that's the main reason why 99% of Christians struggle with sexual urge and so like I said this is an encouragement to all church leaders and also to parents to be more to, to invest time in educating your, your in, in, in educating your uh, in educating brethren and for parents educating your children on how to on sex as a whole sex education and also how to handle sexual urges as a Christian it is very very important I hope um, this, uh, this this uh, this this message uh, sits well with you. And if you enjoy this video, please. And if you enjoy this video, please, like I said, do like it. Drop your impressions in the comments. And if there's anything that you think um, Christians need to know, how Christian leaders can handle this problem, this issue of sex education, things concerning sex, and and how to handle sexual urges as a whole, please feel free to drop them in the comments thank you very much for watching and until next time best tech remains your best bet